be an anxious time for families and good communication between educators and families around preferences and expectations can help make the transition smoother. Most babies start to show signs they're ready for solids around about six months of age. Parents might need a little bit of reassurance that it's okay to wait if their baby isn't showing signs that they're ready. These signs may include babies holding their head and neck up straight and sitting up on their own without too much support. It could be opening their mouths for food and turning their head when they've had enough. So being able to move food from the front to the back of their mouths. Babies who are not ready will push the food out with their tongue. They will also show an interest in their food by watching you eat or trying to grab what's on your plate. There are different methods of introducing solids, such as offering from a spoon, using purees, mashed, and then some soft lumpy textures. Some families may choose to follow their baby's lead and let them self-feed with purees and soft solids. Just remember to progress through the different textures and follow the family's requests and also look for the signs that the baby is ready to move forward. Encouraging positive interactions with foods and exposure to a variety of tastes is the most important thing. They may only sit for a little bit and only want one, maybe two mouthfuls of food. To avoid potential feeding challenges down the track, it's important to follow the baby's cues at mealtimes. Remember that the volume of food eaten is not the most important thing when starting solids. 